Good evening, BF4 fans. I am GC Vabudis, joined with GC Starfish Echo. Um, uh, we're going to bring you the second half of the GC for 21 CW campaign battle day 2. Um, back on the 21 CW NA server. Uh, I was unfortunate to find, I can't find a 21 CW co caster so far. So I've dragged Starfish Echo for the time being. Hello. Starfish Echo, of course, has been playing today. Um, so you actually can actually get some live commentary and see how it went. Um, what maps did you play? Oh no, I mean I played the game at all today for the first time in about seven months. <laughs> so this would be very interesting commentary for me. <laughs> no, 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 I mean I played before, I didn't even play in the battle day at all. I've been doing stuff. You just dragged me down, dude, out of like, the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Go get some commentary going, I mean, it's always fun. Starfish Echo uh, has also been a general at some point in uh, one of the battlefields, so he does have a bit of a unique play of style, but uh, better than nothing, I suppose. <laughs> Damn straight. Let's set this up for me, Rob. What are we playing? Who's starting on what side? GC were on the RU side, uh, 21 CW were on the Chinese side, um, GC won with about 250, maybe 300 tickets. So, um, the campaign scores so far are 65 to GC and 55 to 21 CW. So, really, it's all the playful still. Um, we have seen 21 CW um, come back, especially in the um, Zabad, um, did really well on that one. Yeah, I managed to catch a few minutes of that round. Looks like GC got totally spanked. Yeah, I mean, it was, it was very bad to see. Um, maybe a lack of skill time, maybe a lack of coordination. Don't, we don't know. Um, we can't obviously have access to the channel commander, so I don't know. This one, though, they have definitely dominated. They come back. Um, 21 ZW did seem to hang around Charlie too much, as in they, they didn't, the Charlie flag being the island flag, of course. Uh, they didn't hang around it too much, so uh, they weren't. Putting peeps on that to active use, if that makes sense. Yeah, it definitely makes sense. Charlie is definitely a trap flag on this map, especially if the other team is good in their boats. How's the vehicle balance been this round? Well, the one thing I will say, because the use of. Um, sorry, I'm actually got some food in my mouth. Uh, one of the things <laughs> I would say um, is that GC has taken the use of the soap lamp. So last round we saw um, saw heavy use of the SOFAM and the D flag, and what that basically did is locked up the 21 CW's armor, which just locked it all the time. And what happened there is that they were just using javelin as a lock-on weapon, so it just literally just raped the face. Really, I, I think we'll have to put uh, <laughs> an adult warning on the on the stream and on the YouTube at some point. <laughs> <laughs> Surprised that SOFAM is allowed, given how easy it is to abuse. Yeah, so in this campaign, unlike general GC campaigns, we actually banned the shotgun, we've also allowed the javelin and the sofa. Thanks. So, uh, use of, um, definitely a use of uh, coordination between the squads is definitely needed. Absolutely. So what are we waiting on for live here? I think we're just waiting for numbers here, I think we will have a full server. Ooh, excellent. So you've been a, an FC before, uh, I think you, you've done a bit, bit, bit of full FC, haven't you? I have. I don't think I've ever FC'd this map, however. Yeah, you are I game. certainly have never played it at all when javelins were allowed as a result of GC having the ban for so long, so that probably completely changes the dynamic from anything I'm familiar with. Like you said, it sounds like controlling the delta roof and then just destroying everything is probably the critical point, at least for vehicle play. Yeah, absolutely. Um, uh, I'd say, as an FC, uh, what would you do in this map? <laughs> well, I control the Delta roof and destroy everything on the map. Um, it'll be interesting to see, however. I think if Delta is truly the linchpin, and I guess I'll have to watch this a bit to see how it plays out, 
ownership of that flag is paramount, and once you've got it, I don't think you can actually do much of anything else. There's no real way to get to the back flag short of a jet drop. Are jet drops allowed in this campaign? Yeah, so um, jet action itself, so firing the cannons, the guns, anything like that is disallowed, but jet drops are allowed. You know, it only uses oh, okay. a transport vehicle. I see, okay. Well, okay, so that, that does open it up a bit, but, you know, when you look at these back flags, they're actually very open, so if, you know, your chopper is hovering over that back flag, it's going to totally destroy it. It is a, uh, looks like mobile AA is allowed, so... Yeah, your chopper probably can't even move closer to the center, so I guess what I would probably do is have my chopper cover my back flag, grab Delta, and then just destroy every vehicle in sight, and then hope my infantry can hold on to one other flag. So, I mean, you, you're saying getting Delta, I mean, that, that's useful if you're the RU, I mean, you can lock down the Chinese armor coming out of our echo. But if you're the Chinese, that won't work. Well, you can't get them out of their spawn, but you could hold them into Alpha pretty easy, it looks like. Uh, I'm the, not sure the range of the... Range, right? I mean, the range is a little bit, I don't mean it works that far, I mean, you, you'd have to definitely, if, if you're the Chinese, uh, Chinese, you might have to put a sofa on Bravo. That's true. Bravo's destructible, however, so that could be less effective. It should be very true. Um, I would say one thing I would value in this map, I think it's useful, is Arco and Alpha. Uh, what we saw last time, especially on the GCTK the G -G -T -K squad, they attacked the back flag, so they locked the armor. Right. It'd be interesting to see if um, if HW learned that and if they're going to do the same. Well, with jet drops are allowed and no one actually flying in the jets, that becomes a much more attractive option. You might as well give it a shot if you're locked in. But jet drops are hard to pull off. You actually have to have your best infantry squad hit the ground, the ground running too, and not just land, because then they'll get destroyed by whoever's there. Absolutely. I mean, one of the things on the first maps of like a rogue transmission, I don't know if we've all played rogue transmission, it's a horrible map personally, but we definitely <laughs> saw it to great use of jet drops. Trillions of W were definitely using their jet drops all the time on both sides of that, and it played havoc with GC because they're having to constantly pull back, they're having to constantly go into defensive mode. Um, one thing we noticed, except for this map, one thing we noticed that GC were doing. Um, the last two maps where they were they were, they were react they were reacting rather than being the aggressor. If that makes sense. Always on the uh, responding to re action rather than creating the action. Yeah, it's always trouble. You gotta stay ahead of the other guy. <laughs> so you're coming about javelins. Like, this isn't really apropos of anything, but I just watched about five javelins hit a tank at the same time. Oh boy, it would suck to be a tanker. <laughs> I'm not going to give you my personal view as a. Um, I'm going to give you a personal view on javelins. My personal view. view um, I think I've said this. We've always discussed this with any cast. Are javelins overpowered? Um, of them, some people say yes, some people say no. Well, I think it's probably very map dependent. If there's good cover, you can at least do something as a tanker. But looking at this map again, if, if the delta roof is as effective as it seems, there's just nowhere to hide. You've got nothing you can do about it. Especially once all the buildings go down. Oh, oh well, I guess we'll see how it plays out. Absolutely, yeah. Um, sort of all right, Hart, on, on all chat, we're going live. Just a couple minutes here. Just need two volunteers. Viper will talk to you guys, but we're going live real soon here. Once we get these numbers figured out. Some things never change. One thing we've definitely been seeing, and I've been criticizing this, at least you're tweeting with your W, and you'll see it in this round. Next restart is live. They're tweeting with these, like, tweeting with CW armor, running as one or two, one person, one person armor. Interesting. Was there a full server prior, uh, for last round? 25, 28, roughly, I reckon. Yeah, I mean, that's tough. 
you need you need full infantry squads probably to to keep things alive and or to keep things going you on your other flags. You so say that, but it, repair guy. you say that, but I mean for the APC, I can appreciate that the APC gun is pretty good. But I mean for the tanks, we I mean the GC tanks always land with two people. That's true. Yeah, it's definitely true. We've seen this. We've seen this quite a lot in in in, um, in the camp in the campaign so far. Uh, Bird transmission, the same. Um, I mean, last week we also saw the same. As a Corellia, uh, one man tank. Do you do you think it plays that much of a pivotal role having a a, a co gunner? Well, I don't know. I want to see how this map plays a little bit better. But I, I think when you're when you start running low on critical roles, for example, if Javelin is an important thing, or you, you, you want to have a five-man squad controlling a building, you tend to start looking at the vehicle. This round is, is live. So we, will, so we will be going live. Um, interesting what the, I think, last 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 uh, breakout, uh, GC focused mainly on Delta and Charlie. They lost the fight at Charlie. Uh, but they did win the fight at Delta, so it'll be interesting to see what they do. Will they push Bravo instead? Who knows? Really, they'll just forget Charlie. Maybe they've just gone, nah, we don't need Charlie, we'll just go for Bravo Delta. To be honest, I'm surprised that both teams don't just go for Delta, because even if one team can't effectively use it to lock down their, the other team's armor, they can deny that rooftop to the other team. You know, if you're playing right now from the Chinese side and you don't have the Delta roof, you're boned. Even if you can't really use it effectively against the Russians, you just have to deny it to the... Um, deny it to them, otherwise you're, like you said, you're screwed. I'm just looking at it now, wow. You can basically see their base from don't, the rooftop, so yeah. yeah. Don't forget that uh, Scout Choppers and uh, the Attack Chopper is still a valid air equipment. That is true, that's true. And I guess the, the uh, AA will see how good the AA gunners are, because that's probably going to be the biggest factor there. Uh, AA gunners a bit, uh, we had X-King X -King Beef for the GC, and he was doing pretty well, uh, or fun it. Uh, Many the AA has been used as a tank. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> the game has changed since I played last. Yeah, it's so just... will be jets, 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 jets. Straight away. There we go. Two more CW jets going for. Probably like it's going for Delta. Joint uh, GC jets. Very delayed response, actually. Very, very delayed. And there's only a single jet from Twin Wings. It does look like they are going for the Delta push, but it looks like GC's going for. Bravo! That's, that's interesting. Very nice, that. Bravo, yeah. Where's their Where's the other jet go? Oh, Charlie Bravo. Yeah, they're calling that original then. So Charlie Bravo is GC. It does look like uh, Funny has dropped Cooker Bow and is scored off at the top of Del Delta Roof, and Cooker has got himself a knife kill. But interesting, oh, interesting boy, play. Yeah. Looks like GC just cleaned up the Delta Roof. So there you go. Well, they still got action there. Uh, Delta has gone to 21 W, so they have still got contact. That's true. Just going around Charlie. It's like GC just cleaned up that scout chopper as well, so now GC's got a scout chopper up and delta roof, so their vehicles can at least get out of their spawn. Although, ooh, look at this, 21CW has mined the road just in front of GC's spawn. They've got a full squad there moving in towards Echo now. Ah, uh, see, we saw this last one, we saw, like, backdrop action. To go that back is a clever little move, I like that, I like that a lot. Yeah, let's we'll see what happens, see what, uh, uh X-King Beef, he's gonna have to use that AA to a lot of great advantage. It does look like GC have got the Charlie, or are they going to fall into the trap of getting Charlie at the same time they've cleared off Delta? Let's see what I mean, I think Echo is essentially unprotected. If they can take down that AA, uh, 21 cw has got a good shot at that flag. Good, good, good AA action there from King Baby. You see that he just almost went into the, uh, almost went into the mines and stopped it, so, um... You see, having four flags off the bat, they've, they've got the bleed. I mean, they're bleeding tickets. But, but the 21 CW are bleeding too, that's a face statement. It's interesting to see how they respond. Yeah. Looks like um, the big push right now is Bravo. And they have got what, the 21 CW squad there? Yeah, 21 CW squad is there. Uh, I think the armor will have to pull back, I and mean, Echo Flag is looking very precarious right now. Yes, it is. And is GC, what is GC doing with that Delta Roof? It doesn't look like they are so flaming. Uh, yeah, no, just taking two two RPGs. He's having to pull back in. Uh, they are going to lose Echo. Um, look at that chopper! Both choppers going straight towards Echo. I mean, they got free reign over that flag. Let's 
see what is going on here. It looks like GC have responded in kind. They will, between us two, we will get Echo still. Yeah, they've got the bleed on him. He definitely had the bleed on him. In fact, Gonzo is the only one up on his squad because he's going to spawn his squad on the roof there, and that's going to be an interesting flag. Now, also notice that GC has pulled almost all their assets back to Echo briefly here. They have. Well, they still, they still got the tanks at La Barba. Oh, that's right, sorry, I didn't see them up there. So those tanks are probably helpful, probably. All their aircraft came back to Echo there to help with that push, so 21 CW probably just wasn't in position. Oh, no, never mind, they did take Charlie during that time. Yeah, they have, so uh, 21 CW, uh, 21 CW getting the free flag of Andy's hat, putting the bleed back onto GC. Um, need to figure out what they want to do. What, what are they going to do? Are GC going to pull back from Charlie, let them have it, or are they going to keep Echo? Uh, in my opinion, uh, GC need the Echo flag. It is their back flag, and it looks like they are starting to blank it here. Now's the time that, uh... Now's the time that, uh, to remember, we need to reinforce that flag quickly. Yes, they do. Well, so I think you, now you're looking at a game of chess or cat and mouse here, where 21CW's got one squad on Echo, and a, there's still a huge fight going on at Bravo. So who pulls off first? Whoever, whoever pulls off first is going to lose that Bravo battle. So it looks like 21CW have secured Echo with that single squad. That means GC's got to up the ante here. You say that, but they've still got, GC's still got a squad at Charlie. They're still pushing this Charlie flag. I don't know what they're doing there. Are you sure? I don't see anybody. Yeah, there is. Oh, I see what you mean. Sorry, it's 21CW. Oh, no, you're right. That's correct. Wow, look at that. That's like... Yeah. Uh, of course, if, I yeah. mean, you need to click on the one of the GC... Uh, red, um, you, cast you need to click on one of the red GC people, because you when you click on somebody else in 21CW, you already see what they spotted. Yeah, I'm trying to avoid uh, following the action by an individual. Mag, that's impressive. They're still up. Look at that. They're doing some action. And look at that echo. It's still not in uh, GC's hands. Um, Interesting to see what are they actually doing at Echo. Uh, the a that AA definitely playing, definitely a four and a twenty-one GC sub side at Echo. Um, yeah, it looks like they've got a decent squad of infantry. LAV, AA. AVs. Where the hell did they get the second AAV from? <laughs> That's an excellent question. Looks like it came out of spawn. So now here's where twenty-one CW's got an interesting opportunity. Bravo is actually less covered than it was before, but. CW is kind of out of position. You can dump a squad or two with your air assets onto Bravo, you might have a chance right now. Now's the time for 21 CW to push in, they need to push in. Yeah. No Soflams that I can see from GC, so they, they're not locking up the armor. But they're running lots of stingers on these roofs, though. Yeah, absolutely. But they have got the tanks, look at that. Tank support there from uh, Captain Jägermeister. Uh, taking some fire, I will admit that. He's taking some fire. Oh wow, what a shot from Black. That was a beautiful shot, yeah, I'm glad I got that. Okay, now this is when it's critical for 21CW. You've got two squad leaders, three squad leaders, sitting on Echo for GC. 21CW can push into Bravo now, they might grab it. At the same time, it does look like GC are actually trying to push the, the enemy back. Look at this action around Alpha. Oh, good call. Missed that one again. Fine sneaker. He's got a spawn beacon. And no opposition, they're probably going to blink that all the way down. There's a time when you need to get your. This is where uh, I've been saying armor can be used for flags, it can delay or even slow down a cat lab encounter. This is something that I haven't, I'm very annoyed about. Oh, and it goes straight alpha, is, is, is for GC, so they can look at how much, how much they pull him back. They pull back all the armor, the AA, it's just for two people. So that, that's impressive. Yeah, that was a good move by Sneaker. <laughs> At the same time, Bravo, Bravo is under attack quite heavily. Um, what's going on there? It just seems like the VK squad is taking a quite tight, tight action on that one, and Jagan Mice are just coming there to help them out. Yeah, I think 21 CW still does have advantage here on Bravo, not advantage, but they could push it now. They are, their guys are closer. But it's going to close, that window is going to close very soon. See here, now, now's the time that 21 CW are now massing on Bravo. Look at the push on Bravo. Yeah, look at that. They've, they've got about 20 seconds to get those guys in there. 
get that beat. Same time, GC need to pull the tanks in, they need to get those tanks in, and they need to. Wow, as much as seeing this fight in that whole wave of <laughs> 20 CW infantry just got wasted. Yeah, it's tough to attack Bravo guys on the roof, but we have one squad leader inside the building. He can spawn his squad. Yeah, good, there you go, he's got some more guys in there, he's getting more guys in there. Um, However, look at this, the window is closing because another BC squad leader showed up. Is the famous uh, TK squad, so they are, they, they, they literally are your league squad there. I mean, that, that's your, that's a tough team to go, that's a tough team to go over. It's very interesting actually going about a Chinese spawn. There's 21, <laughs> there are two squad leaders nowhere near anything. You can get out in the mountain. <laughs> Whoa, nice small, who was that? 21 CW, oh man, I can't click on it. There we go. Q Rage Q. It's 400 meters small. The, the, the one is in game. He uh, is responding to this echo action. There is one person, Captain Superfly from 21CW. He's in, uh, he's in uh, the look at that. echo flag. Full squad just spawned in on him, so that should be. They should burn that. Oh, maybe not. Let's see. GC responded pretty quick, but not in time for the spawn. King Beef is literally killing infantry. We have Lord Gonzo on Alpha. GC is not gonna get the burn. And he's probably gonna go down to that chopper. Good try, it's Gonzo. At the same time, it's still. Well, that's a chopper. I'm sure Lord Gonzo is probably. Literally, yeah, he's gonna die. He <laughs> was gonna die. But look at him. Look at this Bravo push. Again, it's still pushing on his back. That three squad leaders I see there. Three squad leaders trying to hit this back. They really want this back. This is their strongest push yet, and I think they're going to get it unless something goes really bad for them. They've got two tanks on one. Oh, no, sorry, there's another GC tank pushing up by the front. The, tank, the tanks need to get in, the GC tanks need to get in there. They want to, again, it's still back to a GC. There we go. That was their strongest chance. That was, that was a very good coordinated uh, reinforcement from GC there. The tanks just. Pushing in, pushing back the GC, uh, pushing back the 21 CW tanks. And with that, 21 CW's armor has been destroyed. I mean, there are no more tanks. Oh wow! Action of Delta. Looks like they've actually been able to push the Delta. Yeah, that looks pretty solid. I don't see. Yep, they've got the. The decap at least. Yeah, so they've got the they decap, got so let's see down. what happens here. Well, who responds in fact? Wow, two squads are there as well. So that's pulling all the armor back from Bravo. Yeah, absolutely. Fortunately though, Twin you do we lost of armor, so they don't have any armor left. That's right, so GC has a period of time here where they can afford to make that move. But look at this, the response from GC has been a bit of an overreaction, I might say. Look at Bravo now, there's a single squad leader on the roof, and that's it. Of course, there's no 21 CW in position to take advantage, so... I mean, that, 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 that is still a... Um, I mean, there is still action at Bravo, I mean, there is a still... There's a new squad there, there's a squad in Bravo. And look at that, 21 yep. CW, uh, GC have literally just spread out from the flag, so if they're not careful, they will lose the flag. See how this goes. Yeah, it looks like Kilo Squad is spawning in. Additional data for the decap. At the same time, GC, there's been some fighting going on in, uh, in this Delta flag. It looks like uh, GC are going to be able to easily take this back. So now's the time the armor from 21CW needs to rush into Bravo. If they can rush into Bravo, they can secure it. Yeah, it looks like they're stuck back by their spawn, however. Oh, bad luck there. Tank bumped another tank into some mines. It looks, does look like 21CW have been able to secure Bravo. Uh, they are capping it. Burn is going back. Wow, back that's, that's impressive. That is. Just, just look like this bomb flag is never going to go towards 21CW. 
They've had their chances, but it just hasn't been able to get everything going at the same time. They haven't been able to capitalize, capitalize on it. At the same time, they have taken Echo again. They have pushed back from Echo. Back flag maneuver. There you go, solid cap. Definitely seeing a lot of back and forth, back and forth between these flags here. Um, surprisingly, there's not much action from I mean, the other alpha action, of course, is occurring for GC. But they don't need to. They've got these two alpha Australian flags, so they don't really need to. No, but it's a good move always to keep the pressure on. you got to kind of do a spoiling right here and there to prevent 21CW from getting organized. And once again, 21CW is in a really interesting position here on Bravo. They've essentially got a coast in the mountains, but GC is just cleaning it up every single time. Uh, chopper, well, I mean, you should have chopper there, that's for sure. Look at that, the chopper just killed itself? What just happened? Did it crash? I think you got small or something like that, or uh, javelin. Oh, interesting. If the kill feed listed him as killing himself, so he must have crashed, or, you know, got hit by the missile and fell over. Possibly, yeah. But if you can tell, well, they just look like 21CW are securing Echo for, for a very long time. I mean, they've not been able to. Jesus, um, they're just going one at a time, and they need to consolidate the armor and push in together. Or at the very minimum, push in with, with 21CW, with GC infantry. And it's just like a squad there versus, <laughs> versus everybody, looks like. Cast is cursed. <laughs> Try to scan. One thing 21 CW has to watch out for now is they did. They've got the bleed, but they lost a lot of tickets to get it. So they have to figure out a way to milk this for a little while and make GC. Yeah. Not just on bleed, but bleed tickets. You know. With GC pushing down on this echo flag, I'm not too sure that's going to do it. Yeah, they're stuck here. Yeah, but at least you got armor in the flag as well. No, that's just like a bulletproof, uh, bulletproof test flag I've ever seen one in my life. Although, take a look at this, the Bravo flag is actually empty right now. No one is actually fighting on the flag zone. Uh, I mean, there's, there's, armor, there's a bit of an armor engagement here, as you see. Yeah, I mean, it's essentially no man's land. Yeah. The tanks there, were 50, especially with the Coaxial 50mm 50, 50 gun, just, yeah, just, just kills infantry. It, a long way stop the hell, I think. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, though, if CW has a squad leader right by the Bravo flag, if they can get their guys into the building, I'm sure they don't realize this, but if they get their guys into the building, they might be able to cap it down before GC can respond. Uh, it's an interesting interesting tactic there by uh, GC there. They put a supply crate down there, so it gives additional reps. That's why their tanks are still, still surviving while they were. And you still, no, is he still alive? He's still no, alive. Still, still alive. One guy's lacking reps, though. You're right, Fox. Fox is there. Oh, oh, that's one tank down. This is where GC, this is where 21CW can catapulize. The cabin is rather back now. They have neutralized it. Delta, that was a squad attacking Delta, although it looks like GC has already begun to respond. Looks like they haven't, you're right, they pulled off, they, they finally pulled off a lot of echo. To the point where they, they uh. We're able to get Bravo. Yeah, able to get Bravo. Ooh, and they actually have the roof this time. Should be a bit of an advantage, finally. Time just like it. Looks like VK is trying to kill infantry off to slow the bleed down. So uh, GC has a tank, or sorry, CW has a tank up, Bravo. Yeah. So finally, uh, the Bravo flag definitely going down to Jim, uh, definitely going down to 21CW. This is where GC needs to start. Maybe flat back, uh, dropping on back flags. Maybe dropping out. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see the response here because they are. Now that the tables have completely turned here, 21 CW can just fortify that line and then lead, lead them. They've got the match. We'll see how it goes. Looks like a strong team dog is. Right now, where's it gonna go? Here it comes. <laughs> going for Charlie. Jet dropping Charlie. Let's see how that works out for him. An interesting choice. I'm not so sure. I'd, I'd pick Charlie personally. Because you're surrounded by an attack boat, but yeah. <laughs> On the other hand, his squad spawned off them very, very well. They were down instantly, so... Looks like they're gonna get at least some bleed going here. 
I, I, I question this chart. I do question this chart. Yep. Yeah, I'll take <laughs> If you've seen the action around Delta as well, the 21 CW are literally sitting circling uh, GC, GC armor there. Uh, not looking at, G, at the definitely 21 CW, have come, definitely come back. And, and they're strengthening position here, it looks like. They've jet dropped the Delta roof. If they can secure this and get their self lamps down, DC's in a world of hurt. Alright, so we've got a grid boat going to Alpha now. It looks like it's unnoticed somehow. That is a key as well. Wow, that's a full, that's a full squad though. Oh, here comes the javelin. Uh, oh, it's too late. They need oh, to get a GC. Need oh, to get a GC. Need to catch. Wow, it's two squads. GC needs to capitalize on this quickly. Yeah, they're, they're going to burn that flag easily. I don't know. I mean, that's a tank there. They have got a tank responding. Yeah, but those two buildings are frustrating for a tank. And here comes the attack chopper and the attack boat. I'm not sure. As a tanker, what I do right now is devil the building. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, they do go all the way down, don't they? And there you go. 21 CW have now responded back. Yep. GC got the decap, but was not able to get the full cap. Yeah. I think... Get that, get that squad off Charlie, get... and focus on Bravo again. Push back on Bravo. I think that's why they're being desperate. Well, I mean, it could... We'll see how it plays out. It was a little a decent move, and then a bunch of 21 CW essentially stuck on Alpha. So Charlie could, in theory, be a little weaker now, but... I don't... I, I, I just don't think this Charlie flag is, is useful at all. Especially when your boat is not up. She's not careful, they will lose a large amount of, of tickets here. Yeah, the push on Alpha cost them 10. And they're also pushing, pushing Delta as well. Was it, oh, oh, that was that a drop on Bravo? That was a drop on Bravo. And it's actually well timed because there's not a lot of energy there. Boom, they're down. Who's that? <laughs> That's Kilo getting the night. No, a defib kill. Well done. So I think Kilo's about to secure Bravo. Looks like, like, well, we're not sure. We'll have to go and see. I mean, the armor will be coming in and quick, hard and fast. Ooh, good shot by that tank. Yeah, the tank on the hill is going to be able to completely clean that roof up. Good position. Tank, tank inside as well. Uh, look at that. Once again, GC gets the decap, but cannot get the full cap. I mean, they're, drop they're, dropping on, they're dropping on flags, but the armor is just not there to reinforce them. Yeah. There's a lack of... Fact, ooh. Oh, look at this. Okay, so uh, is there a Soflam up on Charlie or a PLD or something? I just saw it a very effective javelin. I think that might be what's going on here, so... Yeah, okay, so look, on Barber, right, right, right above the flag. If you get a free count, there is a sofa. Let's look at sofa. That's right. So that's going to help them there. And I think 21 CW holding Charlie is allowing them to destroy GC's assets basically as they spawn. Oh, GC is leaving their boat right now. Look at that. What they need right now, what GC can do, is you use a mob. Use a mob and destroy it. GC are getting more infantry in. They are literally hiding bodies in the, in the back zone. That was quite a desperation. It's a problem. Let's see if they can pull out. They, um, it's all good. Put your body. In. They need the armor. In. They need to get the armor. In. Good job by the 21 CW Air there, taking down a tank. Armor as well is doing pretty good as well. Yeah, they're very well coordinated. Oh, oh, a lot of tech chopper make it. No. <laughs> it does look like the 21 CW are now using um, two two people in a tank. Maybe they are listening in. Yep, there it goes. The two javelins just came off Charlie and took out an LAP on Echo. Well played. In this situation, GC need to need to capitalize even on some coordinate pushing. That's a lot of red Doritos around the flag. And you need to get to clear out and get in the flag zone though, of course. Same time, 21 CW going in for Echo, going into Echo. Thank 
looking at guys, I'm not sure what he's doing there. There's a suicide jeep. Jet drop, they jump up on Alpha. Full squad on Alpha, uh, let's see if they can neutralize this flag. Uh, AA, enemy AA, um, not noticed. Alpha. And 221, 221 CW squad leaders just spawned in on Alpha. So I think they're probably going to be able to clean that up. Although Gould does have the D cap, let's see if he gets the full cap. Yeah, he might get the full cap on this. Uh, he's he got knows. the full cap, yeah, he's got the full cap, yeah. Finally, being able to secure one at the same time. Echo is blinking, so this is where this is where the GC needs a cap. They need to hold out and get you guys in there with engineers, take out armor, and if that comes their way. Two squads, oh, sorry, one squad survived that drop on the Charlie from GC. Lost their boat in the process. That boat not being used much in this one. I'm quite surprised on this one. Yeah, they had empty there for a little while, but looks like GC is going to get the Charlie cap. Uh, 21 City, we've essentially wiped off. Nope, they have one squad leader there. Let's see what that so guy can do. Quite clear what GC's done, and they realize that Bravo, they want Bravo, so they left GC turning on W, reinforced Bravo so much that they left the other flags quite weak. Let's see what, how GC responded, how 21 City responded to it. Um, now they attempted to drop two squads here on the edge of Charlie, but perfectly saving Private Ryan drop there right on the beach. Oh, well, this 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 sort of one CW APC run by uh, they doing really really well. Uh, unbelievably well. He did just hit his own team. Team. He just get team. Hit, uh, did get hit by a uh, uh, twenty one CW mine though, so he did run into his own mines. <laughs> Unhelpful there. The GC so still has a presence on Charlie, surprisingly. That was not a great position for them originally. But now they got the support from their attack boat, which could easily clean this up for them. Tickets here, there's about a hundred ticket difference in this. It's quite close now. See what uh, Tommy Mossy W did or change to do with Lego for Delta. Looks like they are going to push Delta and Charlie at the same time, so they're going to go for both. Just some choice. Well, it's not a bad one because now GC has to respond to two pushes. It just looked like uh, the Tommy Mossy W will be able to get Delta, so nobody's, nobody's responding. Again, they've, they've absorbed into this Charlie flag, which I don't understand it. Well, they were using it very effectively before to shut down GC armor coming into spawn, so I think they're trying to get that that back, but right now, they just don't have the numbers. GC machine, they're realizing they lost out, they are actually dropping off the roof, and they are actually going into the flag zone, so I reckon this flag could go back very quickly. So. Ooh! Who was that? Looks like Karadazar just did a uh, spawn beacon E4 of the 21CW AA. At Alpha and then inexplicably runs away from the flag. I'm not sure what he's doing. I think he's just trying to get killed. I think he's just trying to destroy Alpha right now. Yeah. It looks like GC is going to be blinking Alpha here. They are going for an Alpha push. Yeah. Um, maybe that's just to get him away from Delta. I, don't know. But they really I think at this point, GC has probably just kind of put their foot on the gas pedal. 75 to 100. That means they can burn hundreds of tickets here. Just pressuring 21 CW. Might be too little too late for 21 CW. So it goes on Alpha does go back to GC. Uh, 21 CW is still bleeding tickets here. Yeah, I'm gonna call it definitely GC one this one. I don't think 21 CW is gonna go from this. Looks like Racy, is he gonna survive the building? Yeah, he does. So yeah, um, it looked like 20 minutes to be working in back there. I mean, at one point there, were, there was a 200 ticket difference. Uh, now it's a little bit lower, or 300 ticket difference, I think, one of them. GC has a substantial lead going in, but the moves to W in the center of this game, middle of the game, had a pretty good hold going. Yeah, absolutely. Look back. I don't really know what went wrong for them. It seemed like suddenly they didn't have any more flags. I think I missed a critical moment there. 
but they managed to GC managed to hit Charlie Alpha and Delta all kind of and Bravo kind of all at the same time. I think uh, I the think armor. Something. I think it looked like the armor basically his assets from 21 CW so we will definitely uh, play into effect. They were definitely able to get the lock ons with the javelins. The tankers were now running with two crews. So uh, it, was, it was very, it, it was nice to see, I mean it was, didn't seem a lot of great being played out, it was really good. 18 tickets to go, um, so it's, it's, it's just a done deal for GC. And with that, uh, 21 CW will go down to 63 and, uh, 53 and GC will stay at 65. So what, what do you think 21CW could have done? Put a knife in there. <laughs> what is that? What do you think 21CW... Here's error, going for a final C4 kill. What do you think 21CW could have done to get the win in this one? You know, like I said, I missed the critical moment there in the middle. When they had that three flag hold, they probably could have just held it. Um, it looks like their pressure into Delta might have backfired a little bit and opened them up on Bravo. Then they just over-responded somewhere. I think GC also had a very well-timed push where they hit three flags more or less at the same time. And when that happens, it's very very difficult to respond. You basically need a good individual effort from your squads. And it looked like GC just overmatched them on one one crucial flag. That's tough for 21 CW. They had a good hold in here and there. They're gonna end the <laughs> that's always sucky when you end the, the game with three flags. That's how it's gonna go. Difficult when you have to absorb a 200 ticket loss. Or when you're down 200 tickets, because the other team can just force you to bleed just to even catch up. All right, good round, everyone. Just harp on all chat. Good round. Uh, we'll have a five minute break, and then we'll be playing Heinen 64 player next map. All right, I've got to step off. Good casting with you, Rob. Enjoy the rest of the battle day. Um, hello everybody, uh, sorry, I thought I went quite for a while, uh, I am now joined by GC the one, uh, unfortunately I'm still unable to find a 21 CW caster, uh, maybe next week, um, so yeah, sorry, 21 CW is still going to be very biased. Um. Hello, I'm just about to tune in, uh, do you think it would be best Robert if I spectate or just watch the stream?
I've played about 80% of the rounds at the moment. I, I was. That was a tough one. Um, they really, really held the center flags really, really well, um, which was uh, which was good. Um, well, I mean, we were tasked with defending uh, A and B uh, to see um, you know what we could do. They didn't really push A and B that much. They really concentrated in the center of the actual flags around about C and D, and were very, very quick to respond whenever we, we made a push. It sort of seemed like they had a squad almost dedicated to uh, literally redeploying on a particular flag when it actually started to blink. Yeah, I, I think so. It just seems odd to me because I managed to poke in once during that match and actually managed to capture D without much actual uh, um, sort of response by the enemies uh, by 21CW. Um, I just think that they tried to hold the roofs rather than actually getting the flag sign, which is a bit which is a bit strange. I think uh, we looked to, uh, at poking Foxtrot a bit too much. I think there was a squad uh, from the looks of it. Just constantly trying to push Fox Truck, which I don't think we should have done. We should have concentrated basically the efforts around C and D, and then see what happened from there. Yeah, I mean the A flag generally holds itself. Bravo, you can sprint back to very very quickly anyway, but uh, you really need to hold one of those two center flags. Does Harpum uh, all chat are going to restart twice for GC to be on US twenty one W B on CN, and it'll be live on second restart. Okay, so it's quite interesting. I mean, um, as an observer, it didn't look like because that, that uh, because doing what you do was Zerg and literally C and D every time you capped one, they always Zerg the other one. So it's quite interesting to see. Maybe I uh, from from the caster's point of view, it looked like maybe GC should have gone for the outskirts, for the outskirts. Maybe go for the other flag in the outskirts, be a bit more mobile. Um, I mean, they could have done a push round to E, um, which then drags a lot of people away from C and D. Um. You know, just and then maybe send one or two people in just to sort of slightly tickle F to see what happens. Um, it just mainly it's just a, a distraction, really. Maybe, maybe, yeah, I mean, I'm not sure if you're, you're a squad leader, so maybe you're on channel command, command I can't remember. Uh, maybe, maybe FC or SL, different FCL squads. Uh, I've, I, what I emphasize on this one, especially as a squad leader. On the infantry only match, you need a very strong SL who knows what they're doing, gives out orders, a little bit of micromanaging, but who's you know who 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 who's forceful if that makes sense uh, yeah i mean i wasn't squad leader for that one but what i generally do like you do when you squad lead is if i'm if Carpenter i'm chat, live after this restart live after this restart if i'm sat around doing nothing for 30 seconds then you know you're not doing something right so i always you know, you know intend to push on some other flag but um like you do you know just let make sure that the fc knows what you're doing and you know potentially leave the guy back at that flag so you can spawn on him should there be any issues. Okay. Yeah, um, I'm sure there'll be a lot of art of action reports on the GC side describing what went along there and they'll be trained there. Uh, yeah. High end result. Um, of course this one being quite fit, 64 vehicles. Um, I expect there'll be a massive C rush. I think it's always going to be a pain with this one. I'm going to be interested to see if they bring the building down quickly though. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see. Um, of course, I reckon who's F seen. We're not sure if Viper might be F seen this one for GC. Um, do you reckon he's going to both? Um, we have we have got yeah we have got the jets. So they can jet drop. Do you think they're going to just jet drop Charlie? Um, I reckon they would probably go for a jet drop with uh, Charlie and Delta. I think Charlie and Delta uh, being on the US side. An interesting one. So you 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 think they're going to offset Delta? I think so. That's um, which side is uh, GC? Uh, GC is on US. I see. Yeah, uh, that's what I would do um, because you can get squads to A and B very quickly. Um, so I would go straight for C and D with my jet drop. Of course, um, 
we'll have to see how juicy handles it so if they did lose a C fight, they it's gonna put them bow on the back pedal, that's for sure. I think the problem is if you lose C then you're in real trouble because they can literally just sit on a nice hold of uh, D, D and E and there's not a lot you can do to actually um, get rid of them. We're definitely going to see some quite interesting action, maybe some more boat action as well. I didn't see the boats used in the last round, round that much. It seems that the 21CW boats were a lot more powerful. Uh, what I actually had the last match was um, there was a massive Soflam and Javelin combo going on. So whenever our boat actually tried to leave the base, nothing much could happen. I've touched base on this in a couple of, pod, uh, a couple of uh, streams. Do you think Soflam Javelin, yeah. Javelin combo is too powerful? I think on an open map like that, it can be a bit too powerful. Oh, they've gone for a double jet drop on an Echo. Yeah. Which I. It does look like Tommy CW has only not done a second jet drop yet. Yeah. Maybe they don't value C as much. We'll have to wait and see. I mean, that's a lot of blue Doritos on Charlie. And already getting the boat. Already getting the uh, cap. Um, I think we're going to see Javelins on this one quite a lot again. I think so. It looks like 21 CW wants the roof anyway to go and rain down Javelins. Yeah. So. Uh, same, with, same with GC as well. Looks like they're infantry fighting going on here at the top. Ah, oh, so it looks, like G, it looks like GC's got the AA already. I mean, that's going to be vital. Every bit of armor on this one's going to be vital. What you want to see? Nearly wiped off Charlie. Just definitely wiped off Charlie. Roof. Jet drop. Looks like it's going to Alpha. It is going to not Alpha. Oh, he's bugged out because of the AA. Maybe he's bugged up because he saw two AA, uh, two APCs there. He's going for Charlie. He's trying to jet drop around Charlie. That's inter inter interesting. I was going for that nice little roof, but that's a good yeah. idea. That is a good idea. Unfortunately, I you can't cap them. Oh, Michael. We've got a jet ski going on way to Alpha at the moment. It does look like that way. I mean, Alpha is completely open, so uh, good call by 21CW. Focus on another flag. Will 21CW respond quickly enough? Yeah, the snapples got, on there already. Yeah, the snapples on there, but it's only a three man squad. It can't do much. Unless he wipes up. He didn't do much. He <laughs> definitely killed them, did he? Looks like Undertow has just survived long enough for uh, additional squads to get in there and an ATC, so I think uh, GC is going to hold that one quite firm. Ah, Captain Super is doing a nice job in the back there, just uh, holding, wait for a squad to spawn on him. Oh no, he got done. We've got a jet, Suicide Jeep, Suicide Jeep is going for them. ATC, ATC. Oh, yeah, he's down. Robot A is down. Very, very nice uh, GRG by Jasper there. So they're getting a C4 kill, a C4 kill on Bravo. Like they're pushing Bravo quite a lot. That's. Uh, that was unlucky from Jasper there. Um, oh, there's still got a couple of guys there as well. Tourist, yeah. Knows that there's. Got. Definitely knows that somebody's there. I think he's probably calling for help right now. Uh, well, I would be calling for help right now, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> DC also looks like they're probing Charlie, uh, Delta, have you noticed this? Yeah, I have. Well, it's always a good idea to keep them busy. See. It's interesting that their boat's staying well back though. I thought their boat would push up a bit more, maybe towards Alpha. So one of the things I've been saying that GC are, uh, I think GC are, uh, sometimes they're losing is uh, uh, they've been a bit more, well GC so they've been a bit more reactive rather than proactive, if that makes sense. Yes. They seem to have let um, 21 CW, 21CW dictate. Oh, they're losing C already. They let 21 CW dictate the terms of the engagement or where to react. Oh, that's a dangerous move. Looks like they're trying to. G21, uh, GC's trying to push Delta and uh, just lost Charlie. Yeah, I mean, they're going to have to do something. It does look like every. This is where infantry play is definitely every kill, every move by counts now. Yep. Well, currently Sloth Squad is on there at the moment, so let's see what they can do. And of course, this map's been famous for the famous hotel being blown to bits. <laughs> Flag yep. is going back and forth, so it, it could stay permanently neutral on this road. But it is definitely going back to uh, to CW. GC needs to wipe some people, wipe some people off. 
That is a very, very nice spawn beacon by uh, 21 CW there at the back of C. That's very, very nice. So that and a person defending it as well, that's interesting. So that's that 21 CW were able to capture Charlie, but at the same time, it's still a constant battle going on there. And straight away, GC was swanning Kyle, and it's nice to flag. I think the flag's going to go back and forth quite a lot of times. Yeah, it will do. I able to get the What? Did he just drive the mobile AA into the water? Uh, the artillery into the water. <laughs> wow, ACX Jensen, you have been named shamed in my split stream for driving an artillery vehicle into the water. Name it might have Ah, it looks like, uh, it looks like Gonzo's squad's got the roof. Like, the marbling things, they're spawn things, so good to see that they're actually marvel things and one of the things we saw last uh, last couple of rounds is lack of asset use but we're now seeing that a lot more. Maybe some tugs need to be played in uh, Charlie. I think so, I mean all you need really is one tugs for one side of the building and you can yeah. see everything. Um, although the building hasn't, the hotel hasn't gone down yet, maybe that's something that GC need to do, lock off the uh, entry to, the, to their side, to the enemy side of the... Of, uh, Charlie. I think it's a good option to try and do that. What I would also try and do is, if they're not going to take the building down, is actually take the staircases out. It just makes it that a bit more awkward to try and get up to the higher level of C, or the medium level to C. It does look like uh, somebody the APC was putting some fire into Charlie, so it does look like they were doing it. I see uh, King Beast and uh, HVT there. I don't know, really good round. Looks like we've got 21 CW drop as well. If the possum is low, he's going for Bravo. And squad spawn, squad spawns. No, yeah, here we go, squad spawn. Looks like Bravo is going to go to 21 CW. Um, nobody defending it at all. Uh, 20 DC is completely abandoning that Bravo fire. That's a bit embarrassing. Uh, I think Sergeant Bud's going to have issues if he's going to try and take Delta right now. He's uh, a lot of. Enemy activity. That? Okay. Yeah, so, uh, geez, uh, I didn't expect, didn't expect the 21 CW to have uh, two to three dedicated rep guys for one APC. Did he been listening? There's a cruise missile coming in. See if it's going to do anything. Cruise missile coming from. Is that a cruise missile coming uh, in? I don't know. Yeah, Viper got one onto the north side of Delta. I've uh, better nothing. Group. <laughs> and <it's, laughs> at least he didn't TK anyone, which is a good to see. Oh, it's just as much TK I got on. I'll do it once he does it. Sorry, man. I'm all made this. You team killed five or six guys at Delta for that one? <laughs> Team Kill the war goes to you today. <laughs> <laughs> King Beef is being very aggressive with this AA. I mean, he's treating that like an APC stroke tank at the moment. Yeah, he effectively is. Personally. But is he going to fall foul to the mines? No, I don't think he will, really. No, I think. I, I've always liked the AA for the USA. I think it's much, much nicer compared to the. Uh, I don't know, wheeled vehicle. Wheeled APC looks much nicer to me. Yeah. Oh wow, GC, great push onto uh, Echo there. I was a bit surprised, yeah. It does look to me like GC are trying to get as much of an advantage as possible where they can. Well, I think it's a good tactic with the little bird just to harass their back flag so they can't do anything if they don't have any anti air. Also, uh, oh, also, we've got a C4 Jeep coming in. It looks, also looks like GC have uh, between the studio are on the top of the Charlie. Good move for faction here, Charlie. You know, this. this is right. I'm watching it right now. Um, it looks like 21 CW wants this rooftop. I'm not sure, sure why. You can't cap the flag from up there. 
Because since you hardest thing, they just want roof control so they can parachute down whenever they want. Yeah, I think that, I think this could be it. I mean, it gives them greater control. And there's look. Oh no, there's still one more person left on this roof. You need to stay hidden. Uh, I think he. No. Yes. No. Maybe. No. <laughs> I don't think he's going to survive. Ah, oh, Gonzo's dropped onto the roof now. Oh. Yeah, Finally, some good route of action. All right, back to that. Uh, look, same time, 21 CW, half capping Alpha. Yeah, Alpha has been, definitely been challenged there. It doesn't look, yeah, it's neutral. Because there's a good fight going on with the little birds at the moment. Oh, is Matt going to be able to do it? They're just. There's also a drop on uh, Bravo as well. So, 21 CW push pressuring these flags there. Other flags. Trying to get GC off that Charlie flag. GC has put a lot of lethal uh, investment into that Charlie flag. I think this is also the problem: is if you stack a lot of your team onto that one flag. Admittedly, it's a very key flag to have, but if you can lose your back flags very quickly, it could be a big issue to you. Yeah, I think they need to. They definitely need to make it strategically better. Um, whether that means uh, locking down one one side of the. Um, one side of the building. I need to lock it down. Yeah. I think though that 21 CW should definitely stop guarding Delta like they are at the moment because there's way too many people there at this particular point. I mean, one thing they could do, uh, yeah, is to make me wait for both jets to spawn and then attack the flag at the same time. Yes. Well, we have a cruise missile coming in. Looks like it could be a Delta. Could be devastating. Is this gonna work? No. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Bird is uh, King B there, just raping ra ra face and over. I am gonna put a sensor on this uh, <laughs> on this on the stream. <laughs> uh oh. This is very dangerous. That little bird landed on the roof. And Sergeant Bud's trying to get back up to it, see if you can wrap it. Oh, he lost a little bit. Well, it's a uh, fairly easy to revoke this uh, pilot's license. Yes. I mean, if I was 21 CW right now, seeing that you've got Jevs in the... Oh, it looks like Jevs is uh, just... Is he playing... Yeah. Oh, he's circling around Delta. That could be a problem for 21 CW. A6 jab, but I'm trying to find out who that is. There we go. Oh, you're in the boat. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Just look like JC are finally pushing off the doubt. They definitely don't want to suppress the JC's last time. They're being. Jeff has nice proactive. The APC sneaking up, boy. They're being proactive rather than reactive. JC are in a fantastic position, but look at this. ACX the source. He is in a jet speed. He's dead. There's a chance for um, they need they need a jet drop. Well, so there's a good fight going on at Echo at the moment. Who scores that? Kilo Kilo scores. Wow, have you seen Echo? Seen the amount of red 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 Doritos on top of Charlie again? Again, you can't get the back up there, though. You need you need to go downstairs. Because otherwise, they're just going to get pinned up there. Yeah, I mean, uh, can the artillery shoot? No, the artillery can't shoot. Them. Wow, Jesus I've got the all cap. You see how great work, with, great work with Viper to send Kilo Squad actually over to um over to Echo. That would keep them distracted. See I've literally got the all cap. Um, this is wow, this is impressive. We do have one G going from Jemson to uh, Bravo, but I don't think that's gonna actually do a lot. Ah, looks so like we've also got a jet ski with Jevs going in it as well, back to Alpha. You see, need to be very careful here. This is when they need to start pulling back from flags and working flags that they want. So we'll lose Alpha Bravo, they're not careful. Charlie, get these Charlie as well. But at the same time, then, this is a really, very convincing win. Uh, I'm going to pull out GCS definitely won this one as 4 in the ticket lead. 
I can't see unless by some miracle um, the Toronto ICW can drag this one back. Yeah. Um, I just don't think they can. It is impossible. I mean, they have got Alpha. Um, but that's just one flag. Bring in along with that Christmas. Let's go into Alpha. Will, will Viper sink us? No, it's got EMT. At the moment, GCC's got a very nice lockdown going on an Echo at this point. I think I just saw TA Gwenza just get knifed. For sure, who buy? Look at the, look at the amount of red on Charlie. Oh, I mean, on the map, it's it's impressive. But on the roof, what is the roof? Do what, what's so special about the roof? Is there a party up there or something? I don't know. About. I don't know. But I'm surprised Viper hasn't cruise missile on that roof now. Uh, yeah, I'm actually surprised. I'm quite surprised these guys haven't gone down in an elevator downstairs. Yeah, you're parachuting off, yeah, that's, that's a good job, guys. Get off the roof. I said this about GC in Zavon. Get off the roof and get in the flag. There we go. Yep. Oh, finally some sea action going on. Really? I don't see any sea action. So you have, uh, 21 should be have finally really taken stock. They have actually, uh, they are now pushing on a couple of the other flags. We've got two APCs pushing in on Bravo, so this could be quite good news for um, 21 CW if they can make it. See, uh, they're losing Charlie. They are losing Charlie. Well, where did they where did they come from? Looks like 21 CW has got a uh, extremely sneaky squad. Um, Slim Thunder squad. Look, there was a cruise missile on Charlie. It didn't do it. Well, yeah. yeah. So, finally, G finally, T uh, twenty one CW actually being a bit more reactive, pushing, being aggressive. They can have the AA there. You see that? Yes. I'm glad that twenty one CW have actually decided to bring the boat up to Alpha. Yeah, I mean, they use a very good tactic. They're, they're using the assets that's the, that they should be using, and, and it's good to see a team not not out of it, just out of the fight just yet. Well, it's good to see they've still got a lot of fight in them, which is good. Uh, I do think it's a little bit too late though. <laughs> and they haven't got a chance for, for this round. Yeah, uh, I'm surprised, even with all their roof action, I'm surprised we haven't seen a lot more um, javelins as well, or um, so flams. I think maybe because of. Maybe because. Um, well, I think it. Maybe because it's uh, too quick. That makes sense. True. Uh, with, you can uh, always place it on that lower part of sea, which would be an excellent point to look out to the ocean. With, uh, what did we just play recently? With uh, Lankan Dam, it can be very long, it can be very drawn out battles, it's it's very open. Um, but this one is very closed, so you can have to run around quite a lot. You have to read a cable with it, so it, uh, it's, I, I, I personally believe that's the case. But there is yeah. some boat action going on. I still don't understand Ooh. why 21 CW though has got so much of their assets just stuck still on Delta. They really need to push up as a combined unit. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, one thing I am seeing uh, is the attack boats by 21 CW are really, really powerful. Uh, they're doing really well. I think they're playing better than the tanks, personally. So, uh, yes. next week, 21 CW, do some boat maps. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, uh, the source with an excellent kill there on the boat, Reptile would it, I believe. Uh, this looks like 21 CW, uh, they're still on this roof, seriously guys. Um, off that roof, <laughs> there's nothing on the roof. <laughs> it doesn't give you anything. That's I'm surprised to see that none of the sides have come down yet. Yeah, I'm very surprised, maybe because they realise, oh I don't want the lag. <laughs> I mean, if 21CW wanted to actually do the, a roof, or wanted to have a couple of guys on the roof, I'll take both the sides of the building down, so it's a lot harder for you um, to be extracted off the roof. Who's in the little bit? I mean, that's a Mac. Uh, literally... Yeah, I'm not sure what Mac's doing. I'm oh, finally we're seeing, an, we're seeing a good push from 21CW into Charlie. This is good. I, I, again, too little, too late. I think 
Yeah, GC will finish with 400 plus tickets here. Um, yes. This is no question about that. Uh, what do you think GC2 and CW need to do? Do they need to focus on another map? Uh, one thing I definitely think they need to do is get off that fucking roof. <laughs> Well, they need to get off the roof, but also they need to do some aggressive pushes because, I mean, it, it looks like from what 21CW are doing now, it's nice, it's aggressive, and it's what they should have been doing from the start of this match, which is just constantly barraging flags. The harass being, being a bit of harassing. Yeah, I mean, I think you need at least a small squad, it doesn't even have to be a big one, to constantly jet drop. Um, the back flags. It, it distracts the enemy um, and also just keeps them thinking as well. Because they've got to send people back to try and capture those flags. So potentially you've got that flag for, I don't know, maybe a minute or two minutes, but it's enough time for you to move your forces up and potentially capture Charlie. Wow, that is a massive GC on Charlie right now. Yeah, it does look like the GC have just basically just zerg Charlie. Uh, you dumps everything they can. Again, this is... It's... it's, it's, it's sad to I see think 21 CW just need to... Yeah, you know, just get in the cap zone more. They've Fight got the players flag. available to them, but if they're not in the cap zone, they're of no use to you. Fight for the flag, I absolutely 100% agree. Unless you're going to stick up there and start jabbing assets, which they haven't been doing that either. Um, no. They need to... Yeah, they need to start working together. They need to start consolidating, pushing stuff in together at the same time. Um, you, maybe you can go for another flag and stop it. Another flag. Three tickets to go. Uh, GC have definitely convincingly won that. Uh, that will put the score about 64 to 21 CW and 65 to GC. That's quite a big score gap. It's not impossible for 21 CW to actually um, so bring that in. Tap. The next round will remain live. So we are going straight live. Um, do you reckon we'll see jet drops from Twitch? The one thing I has. Okay. Negative. Uh, one thing I have seen from 21 CW and Clever, and I'm sure you picked up on this, is that they, they do one jet drop, and then once everybody's been set in, they do another jet drop to try and unset things. I mean, in some respects, it's quite a good idea to not necessarily use both jet assets for your drop and save one for maybe a drop a couple of minutes later, but I think for the opening you should always use both jets. Um, it just makes it just makes sense to use both jets. It sets you up for the oncoming whatever's going to happen. Yeah, I mean the jets will spawn quick enough anyway, so you know you've got the option then to you know, use them sort of sparingly after that if you want to, but I would definitely drop um, two, like this one. If I was 21CW I would send both of my jets Straight to Charlie. I would send one to the roof, and I'd also send one down to crash into the building itself, and then a couple of squads to um, uh, just come onto the bottom of the sea. Uh, one thing I would do for the 21 CW, I mean, um, looking at Kex King Beast there, I mean, 52, for, was it 52 for 2 in AA. Even if yeah. they don't get the flag, try and keep somebody near the flag so you can grab the asset. Even if you can nick the asset, or rig it, or C4, take it. Take it. Take a man of action. You can essentially sit a soap lamp up on Delta and mock that AA. Well, that's one thing um, we used to practice. Um, where we practiced it um, with my army, and then also the, with the previous campaign as well, which was where do the assets spawn um, you know, when a flag's captured by either side? It, like you were saying, if if you can just have one guy sat there, then at least you know it can a b c forward maybe, or you can steal it. Yeah, I mean, personally, AAA, Fake Mill Cannon, is literally an anti infantry. It's, an eating, it's a vehicle eating machine. Uh, infantry eating machine. It will literally tear up and chew up every single infantry it sees. Well, the thing is with the AA at the moment is, I mean, there's nothing on this map that can actually challenge it. Uh, the Little Bird hasn't got a chance. APCs, you know, and if, unless you've got two APCs ganging up on it, then you've got a chance. I mean, it can bully and and basically take out a boat at extremely long range. So it's you know, it's just an all round vehicle. I so think if you want any any asset you have to have that asset. Absolutely. We'll see if uh twenty one CW realise that. Um
Yeah, we're probably going to see from GC two jet drops again at Charlie. Uh, they will swarm up. They definitely want the Charlie flag, I mean, but they realise that it's a key flag. Not only that, the horse has to cruise this round is live. This round is live. I, mean, I didn't see any 21 CW cruise missile, did you? No. Well, they basically, I don't think they had Charlie at all. I think they had it for, well, I think that's in the beginning of the match for maybe 30 seconds. Yeah, it's, it's a bit sad. I mean, it's this is where. This round is live! This is where key map positioning and flag, key, uh, flag importance does take a priority into these games. Okay, jets, so go, go, go! We need a good breakout. The two jets Isn't coming in from ah. GC. GC has got two jets. Where are 21 CW's jets? And they're so far behind. Well, at least they're double jet drop this time. Yep. Who's, who's dropped where? Looks like TKV, K TK Kilo squads in Charlie, they are capping up that really quickly. I mean, seriously quickly. Like 21 CW's on, on the roof. Oh, wow. Mobile A is gone, ex King Beef has got the Mobile A, he's got away with it. Is anybody going to get the arse to do? There's the absolutely to. nobody outside C at all to try and even remotely stop them from getting that thing. And nobody's taken, and looks like somebody's, and GC have taken both the Mobile A and the arse to do. Well, at the same time, it looks like uh, 21 CW are pushing Delta. It's got Delta. That's good. Uh, I mean, that's just my flag. It doesn't mean that. GC are bleeding tickets. Well, if they can actually hold a lot of forces at Delta, then you might as well keep that three flag cap. It Absolutely. saves you going into sea. See what the happens. problem is also with Delta is we've also got the um, mobile artillery now raining death down on them on Delta. Let's see what Axe King does. Is he actually going to go towards Delta? Is he going to secure? They are, they are reinforcing Delta very quickly, but they have left from the other barber empty. Uh, this is probably what all want, uh, Viper wasn't what happened, maybe. I think he definitely wanted that, uh, I think he wants that Delta flag. Well, this is a good tactic by 21 CW. If they keep doing what they're doing, then it could work very, very well for them. GC need to respond quickly. Oh, looks like there's a failed Jihad Jeep. Oh, no, wait, there's a Jihad Jeep. No, maybe not. I'm very confused. <laughs> There is a potential. No, there isn't. Uh, Zebra Peep's got the actual second one as well. We're still seeing GC trying to push into this Delta flag. They are, they are pushing in. They are getting They're people. Taking it. Yeah. Pretty much, you need to reinforce that Delta flag. I think that's the linchpin of their strategy right now. Ah, I see Sloth is moving in towards Alpha. They need to react quickly for this. Ah, you see here. Really need to get on the channel command. See, actually, we've seen this twin of the CWR actually on the roof of Delta. Well, that's a pretty reasonable idea to do that. Actually, you can at least keep one or two guys up there, and they're just a pain to kill. See what happens. I mean, there's a lot of blue, a lot of blue around Charlie, and look at the Arcapel. Because that twin of the CWR will be able to cap um, Charlie. Well, that's good if they're if they're rotating the flags, as they're keeping uh, GC very well uh, distracted over at Delta right now. But I think now is a crucial time for 21 CW. Do they keep C or do they go back to D? I think they need C. Uh, I think it's to kill. I think it's critical. Um, they need to kill the people on the flag. They need to get the flag down. So. Looks like the push at Alpha didn't work. Um, 21 CW defended it. Those C box. So it's Sloth Squad is still on A, so it's still contended. It does look like Charlie is blinking. I think some action at action at Fox Shot as well, so it looks like it's a much better round for for twenty one CW uh, GC there. Twenty one CW there, much better round for them. They are definitely pushing uh, the right flags, getting GC off the flags, so it's good to see some definitely some action there, There's definitely some different play. Well, it seems to be more aggressive. They seem to be. It could be interesting because you could either sit on Charlie, or if they wanted to see the tactic of bounce around a couple of flags, but as long as you've got three, that's a good tactic to use also. 
Uh, what I'm seeing here is a reverse. I think DC are spending too much time on the roof. They need to get off the roof of Charlie and end the flags there. Come on, CW able to get the AA now. Yep. Uh, okay, so there's going to be Snapple versus Jeeves. I think Jeeves is going to come out on top with this one. Jeeves will come out on top, Indeed. he has come out on top. But he's quite low on health, um, very low on health he, actually. He does have a wrapper. He does. Um, well, GC looks like they are getting, I can't tell again. I really can't tell again, Charlie, not. Uh, again, 21 CW are losing Charlie at the moment. Yeah, so GC go again, Charlie. <laughs> and surprising rate, actually. Yeah, I mean, it must have cleared them off, that's for sure. Some very good action there. Uh, but it doesn't give him access to the mobile A. They need to kill this mobile A by. Uh, mobile a right now. Oh, we've got another jet drop which just came in. If I was 21 CW right now, I would jet drop immediately. Delta. Um, Echo. Um, well, Delta, I think Delta is good. Yeah. Have you, this seen, is where the have you, have you seen what's coming off air of the roof of the... Oh, wow, off the roof of uh, Charlie. Javelins, constant javelins. I don't know, I've asked this every single car, so do you think javelins are too overpowered? Um... I think it actually depends on the map, if I'm honest with you. If you've got stuff you can hide behind, then I don't think it's necessarily too overpowered. Um, but also, I think it does promote a good amount of squad work and teamwork as well. Because, you know, you've got to be able to counter that by having rep guys, um, you know, constant communication within the squad as to what's actually going on. So, I, I, at the moment, I don't think they're OP. Um, I mean, the only map I've really seen that there could be an issue has been Lang Kang Dam, but then again, it's just the openness of that map. Because we noticed that particularly with the boat, that um, you just couldn't move the boat anywhere because they had a number of guys with javelins and a um, and a SOFAM just stuck on that island, so you just couldn't do anything. Okay. I, I, yeah, definitely on Lang Kang Dam, I believe it's just so overpowered, especially open map. Well, I saw those open maps just completely like a uh, completely jamming definitely but I'm seeing a lot of uh, more equal fight here. Uh oh, a little bit and a little bit, let's see what's going on. It's good to see Twin One CW uh, taking Echo at the moment, that's a good thing. Well but do you see better do something, otherwise they're gonna Yep, there's but they focus all their power. Wow, they're losing all the flags at this rate. They're not careful, yeah. they will lose all the flags. If Twin OCW keeps doing what they're doing, that could be very good. They can afford to lose Echo. I don't think they're going to lose Delta anytime soon. I don't think Charlie are going to lose Charlie either. Look at that GC, they're able to be in front of Charlie. I think this is where Viper definitely needs to go and talk to um, his squad leaders to go and send people out to their back flags. Yeah, I'm not so sure what Viper can do right now. Um, so I'm not the FC, I can't tell you what's going on. Um, focus a lot of infantry, a lot of infantry power around this Echo flag, and it's not paying off for it. No, um, Charlie flag, so he's, he's put a lot of stuff around Charlie. It's not paying off for it, it really isn't. That's the other problem with this map, is you can get stuck into just defending Charlie. Lala, so we have a cruise missile coming in. Oh, he did get somebody with it. Got one person. Charlie will be secured. I, like, I can't tell what's going on with Delta either. Your Delta's being secured. Delta's, Delta's being currently been captured by GC at, the, at this point. There's some good. But still, Echo is being heavily contended right now. Echo is coming back though to GC right now. So now's the time for 21 CW to rush Charlie. If they want to get Charlie back, they need to rush it now. While GC is spawning, while GC is trying to reset itself.
mean, what I'd be doing if I was Viper right now is I would actually um, put some UAVs down over Alpha and Bravo to see who's there and how much um, issues you're going to get. But we've got some jet droppers coming in, heading straight for the roof. They're trying, to, they're trying to kill those. Uh, they're trying to kill the GC uh, javelins. See the the amount of javelins coming off that roof is quite impressive. I see Crooked Barrels decided to take the initiative. It looked like uh, the GC20 was a bit worried of the roof. Will they be able to clear downstairs as well? Like, who knows? The GC need to possibly get another squad in there quickly, otherwise they're going to lose their charge back there. So the ticket's looking very fairly even right now. Uh, good to see the tickets are quite even. I think at this point it could go either way. Uh, yeah, I actually agree with you. I, I can't call it yet. I want to lean slightly towards G uh, GC. Uh, mainly towards a home team. Woo! <laughs> really, that they are. Um, they've still got control of the Shire flag, and they now have got control of the assets, and that's what's going to win them at the end of the day. Well, I'm going to go for um, GC as well to win this, mainly because also King Beef has now put himself back in control of the AA. That's going to be a huge pain in the ass for a 21 CW. Yeah, as you see there, he just literally just killed loads of people on my free camp. Yep. Let's we'll see what happens. If 21 CW can upset, offset, you see, there might be, there might be another, might, or it can be another jet drop. There's got to be another couple of jet drops in this round at least. At the very bit, at the very bit. I mean, if I was 21 CW right now, I would be hitting um, Delta. probably Echo actually. If possible, or really, really, really pushing towards uh, Delta. Um, so we have a potential C4 Jeep inbound. Is he going to be able to take out the AA? I think you see a couple of trees. Oh, oh I don't know. Yeah, he's, 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 he's going to do it. Did he take out Ooh, both? He nearly got the double. Yeah, he nearly got the double. But he has killed X King B. Uh, that is unfortunate. Wow, X King B is getting. Is that jabbing? That's jabbing in one shot. Wow. Yeah. Wow, that's I just... think it was actually damaged from that C4 explosion as well. Oh, yeah, a little bit. I think it must be down to what's. It must be down to 90%, but that's quite impressive. Yeah. But, uh, once you do actually get back onto Echo, so yeah, push Echo, you're right. And they neutralise Charlie. Uh, Charlie. For, Brawley, for, for Bravo. Ah, uh, looks like tw uh, 21 GC has responded to the Bravo push. But I think the problem is, is they've, they've responded far too heavily. They really need to go and have a chat through their commander channels and actually get their FC to say to them, you know, you only need one squad to spawn here. Uh, you so you reckon there needs to be, you reckon the ESLs need to give a bit more, uh, maybe in for the uniformity, say, I'm under by, attacked by possibly one or two squads, or a couple of guys? I think that there needs to be a communication, you know, like we have in GC quite a lot, which is, um, you know, it, it feeds up and down the chain. So a squad, you know, an FC will tell a squad leader, you know, go here, do this, do that, or there's three or four people over here. But also squad leaders also can inform their FC quite a bit um, with, you know, what's going on at the flag. You know, are they being heavily pushed? Is there a really, really good squad that they can't, you know, go against? I think that's why at this particular point, um, GC are winning more than 21 CW. I think at this point we've got just slightly better communication between squad leaders and also the FC. Well, thank you for that. As I say, uh, being a neutral party, I can't. Well, although I am for CC, having a neutral party, I can't. I don't know, I have access to the talent commander, so uh, I can't tell the, the cast of the stream is here or what's what's his going on. But uh, good to see that the GC is still keeping up the response to the talent commander. That's where it comes into. Uh, that's where it will make a difference. Making the FC, uh, making sure the FC makes the right call. I mean, whenever I've played with GC, if the commander channel's quiet, odds on you're going to probably lose that match. But if the commander channel's got a lot of chat on it, then you've got a pretty good chance of actually winning that match. Looks like GC have pulled ahead of quite a nice lead now. I think that, I think we could definitely say that. They're definitely doing the right stuff. <laughs> I, I agree. 
I mean, I want to know where's the rest of um, 21CW. I mean, I can see an utter sea of red on Charlie and a couple of guys on um, Alpha, but I can't see where the rest of their team is. I think, I don't know, as the FC, I, I, I'm looking at the scoreboard, which I can tell you I'm who's actually, have, That's interesting. Have a look at, um, if you hit tab, have a look and see who's actually spawned for 21CW. Yeah. There's hardly anybody spawned. Maybe, I'm not sure what they're trying to do. Maybe they're waiting for the FC to give some orders. Maybe the FC's doing most I don't know. Uh, what I would say to that now is, 21CW, two jet drops, and then dump your army on that um, and then, yeah, uh, they need to do something, that's for sure. Well, I'm just having a look and just literally holding tab at the moment. I mean, half the G21CW hey, team wait, wait. is physically wait. not spawned. Maybe they're listening, because I've just seen two jet drops here. <laughs> on, on the echo flag, you know what, I, 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 I call that one. I, I'm, a, I'm a fortune teller. <laughs> You're a wizard. Um, I mean, I think it's a good tactic. I would personally forget Charlie if I was 21CW. Yeah, that's Focus why I on the that. outer flags. Because you can divide them up into four. It does look like, I mean, it does look like 21CW have still got a lot of people there. I'm quite surprised. Maybe they're just being reactive. I'm not so sure what they're trying to do right now. I mean, potentially 21CW do have another jet to their disposal at this point. No, they, they, use, they use both. Oh, they double dropped it. They okay. double drop, yeah. That's why I called it so precise. Ah. I, I don't know, T TC just seems to be mopping up right now, it's like a mop-up operation. We're coming in, this looks like it's from Viper. On to Echo, uh, yeah, let's kill anybody. He does actually kill somebody. He's got one. So that one is, that one. <laughs> Ooh, wow. He's very, very quick to respond to Echo. Funny, taking a nice hit there. Yeah, just like he was stingers. Just like they have got stingers out. And look at that. 21CW have spawned in, but it's too little too late. You can't get into the black zone quick enough to not neutralize it. They need to be quick with their spawns. I, they need to be a little bit proactive. They know that they're going to come to there eventually, and they need to you know, get on them, give you more sponsors. And it does look like DC are going to get the old cap. Yeah, There's going to be the old cap. There's the old cat. Well, I've got to say congratulations to GC on that. Um, and they, uh, you know, paid that, you know, um, took their time. Yeah, they have. They took the time. They cleaned up. They definitely cleaned up. I mean, that's just. Uh, I think to be honest, just need to respond to things quicker, or change their tactics quicker. Or something along those lines. Uh, I mean, I I I've touched base on this last 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 uh, spec up squad or reactionary squads. Yes. Do you feel that they need some more? I think so. That's gonna go big. Oh. That is a great. Oh, 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 oh. That's a fantastic cruise missile by Viper. Wow. Five piece, very nice. Uh, that was uh, a boat as well, I think. I mean, it surprises me because, I mean, their commander could have stopped that cruise missile. Well, unless he was actually proxied, but, um... It might be proxied, yeah, it might be. I don't see any 21CW assets right now. I mean, you could still proxy that, or you could also just put on a, um... Uh, um, um, EMP over it. Well, there is, there does seem to be some action at Charlie here right now. Actually, actually, a statement. Still 21CW seem to be holding their spawn. I'm not so sure what they're trying to do right now. I think they're trying to listen to their SL orders. I don't know whether or not they're just trying to wait this one out and maybe concentrate on their next map. I, I... They're not going to win it with you know half their team not spawn. Yeah, I 100% I, I agree. Um, are they jet dropping? I'm not so sure what they're doing. Looks like Viper is going crazy with his cruise missiles at the moment. Well, what's this one going to do? I don't think it did, uh, did do what it killed one person. One person.
Is that what I think it is? Is that a boat out of Delta? Yes it is. That's a clever move. That's a clever move. Why, why send two squad leaders straight to Delta? I would have sent one. I think they want the reassurance that uh, they want the flag. You see, this is what 21CW should have done actually about 10 minutes ago. You know, I, I mean, I agree with you. They, they, they're too slow to react to this. They're too slow to stop it in the back. <laughs> it is interesting. I mean, it seems, you know, within the last hundred tickets, you see a big, big push from them. You know, it needs to be constant. With 12 tickets to go, uh, it's definitely a convincing wing for GC again, for the ticket pass. Um, yeah, there's definitely one the infantry play there. Uh, so we're going to go get in. Julian Peak, 64i, fine on map. Um, it is a infantry only one, uh, so we'll have to see more emphasis on the infantry. Uh, I think this is quite also a heavy infantry map. Uh, it's, it's not looking good for joining CW right now. Alright, that was the end of that round. I mean, the, yeah, the beauty with Gillen be um, Peaks on infantry. It, the oh. beauty with Gin and Peaks is it is a, playing a massive game of um, Cat Ring Mouse. Around the Rosie, basically. 64B. Yeah, you know, because there are so many flags, you can't get all of them. If I was 21CW, I would completely ignore that centre flag because it just becomes a complete clusterfuck. You can get shot from everywhere within that, and it's just not worth it for the bomber. So all it doesn't... Is Harp on all chat? We're playing Gill and Peaks, 64 infantry only next map. Five minute break. Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, what I, I see, think what I see for joining CW, they like the Zerg a lot as a group. If that makes sense. And that's gonna, yes. so that's not going to work when getting in picture. No. You need to be mobile. You need to have mobile units moving around, camera flags, hopping around. It is literally hop around the flag. You can hunker in on a flag, but then you can't. You, you can hunker in on a couple of flags, but you, because of the spread of the flags, it's just, it just doesn't work. There's a couple of flags you can hunker down on. I mean, you've got your centre flag, which immediately leads out to, I believe, G, which is down through the tunnels. So that's a good one to always get. Um, I, mean, I mean, what you could do, if you're going to hunker down, you need to have reaction, we need to have response squads, squads in between flags to be able to move the flags quickly, if you're going to do that. I mean, it looks like, um, according to CW, you like to hold their spawns quite a lot which potentially could work in this environment. If they really blitzed a couple of flags in this and got four flags off the bat, then what they could do is anybody who's died, they could leave them to be a rapid response unit for a particular flag. That that would be a, a good tactic to use. Uh, uh, Assuming CW, the sides are going to be the same. 21CW um, would be US and uh, GC would be China. I mean, if I was GC, I would... I mean, you could try. Uh, from what I saw, you can do it. Uh, Delta, Fox, Delta, Golf, Alpha, Fox, Echo. Okay. You, you, I reckon they could lock off five packs. From what I saw last yeah. round. If I was 21 CW, I would send one squad to Alpha on a bike, uh, take the chopper, hit Bravo, um, and then get another squad leader to jump out and. Um, head on towards, uh... actually no I wouldn't actually, I would do a bike to Alpha, chopper to Bravo, swung by Charlie and then Golf, and leave Delta alone, but I think a big big key in this particular map is that transport heli. Yeah absolutely, and from what I saw from the Zabad, even though GC lost that map, they were winning the transport battles. Yeah. I mean, 21 soda we need to keep that transport heli alive because it is such a good asset just to immediately just blitz a flag with, you know, a squad's worth of people and then just move on. Uh, one thing I would say on this one is that uh, I, I, I particularly find that uh, uh, Echo, Echo is quite, if you, if you can get Echo secure, I mean, Echo is quite far away, it's quite also quite open and downhill, so if you can get Echo, it's, it's an okay map. Uh, flag to have, it's the but... same with Charlie, they're just awkward flags to get. Absolutely. 
I think. And I would agree with you. I think Echo is the most open of the entire flags here. Yeah, uh, it's definitely the most open. So if you if you can get Echo, you probably stand a better chance of it intercepting people on the way. Easily snipe them out or kill them or suppress them as well. Uh, one thing yeah. I would say is height can play a, a key advantage in, in this map. Um, has it actually been agreed by the generals that um, the map glitch on this won't be used, or will it be used? What's the which one? Well, uh, I believe if you have a look at Twenty One Blockhead right now. Oh no, he's actually on the flag. Well, on Delta, you can always um, drop of somebody actually physically, but on the cliff tops itself. Drop a spawn beacon down and constantly just drop down from the flag. I do not know. I don't. I think it's allowed um, because we got the Marv. Marv can add to, uh, account for that. True, but it's also a bit of a pain because it takes you a while to figure out actually that the spawn beacon's up there. Yeah, not if the FCs. Uh, got a Marv, a UAV, anything like that. I don't. I don't know. I don't think it is. And with the Marv, it also locks onto it. I think this is going to be very interesting, actually. The how this game goes. Sure. I will say at the moment GC does have an advantage of two-player lead right now, so they can have that lead, uh, just about. Um, let's see what happens. Uh, my money. I, I'm going to call money on this one. I think GC going to win this one. What is it? If 21CW do some of the movement that we saw previously in Hainan Resort. They could have a very, very good chance of of it being very, very close. Um, yes, but it's close, but not cigar, sir. <laughs> but um, um. You know, I'm actually going to quickly grab some grapes because it's in the cow right now. Well, I think it is time I should grab a beer. I mean, I'm nearly out. This is not right. Got a cast with no beer? Doesn't work. Alright everybody, this is Harbin Live Chat, All Chat, we're going live on next free start. Looks like we are going to go live. This round is live! This round is live, gentlemen! This round is live? This round is live. So we're just about to go live. Um, let's see what the breakout is. I think looking interesting breakouts. I'm not sure what Twenty One CW are going to do. But you'll see. I think definitely the chopper, chopper, chopper will be key in this one.
to me off the bat it does look like two ninety W are reacting quickly and GC have just spread out. Wow, so a large amount of battle bikers so it looks like they're gonna try to secure Delta. I think they're trying to secure like eighty percent of the bag, it's quite interesting. Um not sure what fun it's doing there. Uh We are zerging Delta, they are literally zerging Delta. Let's see what goes on with Delta, but it does look like 21CW have failed in the assault and GC have, wow, they've got, they've got the five flag cap. The batteries are trying to do. We are trying to get uh, another flag. This ER will be getting echo, so this is a flag. Um, not doing so well. Alpha, though, that trees here have completely zerged the other flag. Um, very impressive from GC. I mean, it, although echo is definitely gone. There and the travel chop is taking some hits, but at the same time, he's been in mobile spawn, so he's still up. I'm now back. I can see GC has taken a massive initiative and gotten a lot of flags already. Yeah, it does look that way, but uh, at the same time, people are responding in kind. They are trying to get back. Uh, GC's travel chopper is dead, uh, so it doesn't mean that the normal should be can rain, ha, the sky is rain free for a while. The problem 21 CW are doing right now is, I would say, a good 80% of their army is on one flag. The Zerg, the Zerg exists. As you can tell, I have played StarCraft 2, and I'm poor, sure, <laughs> I'm sure I see the Queen of Blades somewhere running around here. And it looks like GC are currently 3 up at this point. Really? Oh yeah, we see two. Oh well, they were. Remember, there is the commander, so I suppose they're just trying to sort themselves out command. Uh, it does look like she's made a GC a sort of dislodged. <laughs> oh. Oh dear, looks like Crooked's just got kicked. There seems to be a lot of uh, ore chat going on. Um, so it must be, can't be that late, can it? I will look at the time in a bit. <laughs> it's coming up 20 to 12 at this point. It looks oh. like this could potentially be the last game of. Well, this is the last map of the, of the day. Are they going to be able to play both maps or both sides? I don't think so. Mm, don't know. Maybe. See how it goes. Currently, right now, it does seem to be that uh, 21 GC is just sort of. I'm not sure what 21 CW or GC are doing right now. <laughs> I'm very confused. <laughs> seems to be like a free for all right now. GC trying to get Foxtrot at the same time. 21 CW also pushing on his Golf and Charlie Fair. Um, you know what, Good push from Hippopotamus there onto uh, Charlie. Uh, with the TA fields, it does look like they do look like they've been wiped out. But this is where we say that the transport chopper was going to play a key effect, but it looks like the chopper chopper has died eventually. Yeah, I think a lot. I think both teams are prepared for that. I've seen quite a few um, lock-ons from the Ecuador and things like that. Uh, it looks like there's going to be some action at Delta here. Um, I am going to tell this on the viewers, this is a Catholic nightmare, there's so many goddamn flags. Oh, that's nice, there's a pincer movement going on between that. Only one guy in middle east from CW, but it could be dangerous because uh, there's a lot of distraction from the front of Delta. Yeah, there does seem to be a lot of action around this father flag, we've seen this father flag. 
just looking at it now. Ah, uh, yes. Good action. It just looks like uh, 21CW, although I'm watching ACX3, is, is going to capture the battle but there's still some resistance. Who's left there? The bank well, if they hold what they've got right now, that could be very, very good for them. I see that there's a push by um, Technac in towards Delta. Yeah, so there's, um, there's some, definitely looks like there's uh, some tunnel action at Delta. A lot of I'm nades. glad to see that a lot, a lot of just left one guy at Echo. That's a good, excellent tactic right now. Nades going on around there. Have you seen the amount of nades just popping off in this Delta uh, Delta tunnel? And 21 CW are pushing up this Delta tunnel. I mean, that, if they're not the GC aren't careful, they're going to lose the Delta flag. But I bet they have lost the Delta flag. They have. There's, there's a swarm, uh, that is the swarm. Well, this could be an interesting actual uh, transport battle. That's just about to go on. Why is, why is Trinomo CW attempting to attack? Oh dear, I don't think that's going to go too well for the uh, transport heli for Trinomo CW. Well, they've managed to bail out, that's a good thing. Or not. <laughs> <laughs> Makes me cry when I see a transport chopper die. <laughs> you know what? I think this is easier to cast than it uh, to be of legends at this point. <laughs> this game. <laughs> it's interesting. Twenty One CW doing a great split there with F and G. There seems to be a lot of action going on. It looks like there's a lot of splits going on. Uh, GC getting four flags, the outer flags, Echo, Alpha, Barbara, Charlie. But, um, yeah. There seems to be a lot of isolated uh, firefights going on. Yeah. Uh, not so much around the flags, was where you want them to be. They were sort of on the outskirts of the flag. We're seeing yes. the old person sprint in, so, um,. It's a little bit weird. Normally, I'd like to say, normally I would like to, you know, you need to fight from the flag. Come on, guys, are they getting crossfired from something else? I'm not sure what they're doing. It looks like DC are not going to be able to cap Delta. At the same time, they're not going to be able to cap Golf as well, so just go down. They will be going down to two flags. No. I spoke too soon. But they will get Delta. Well, that's a good tactic for 21CW right now. They just need to make sure that they don't dump too many people on, on one particular flag. Or if they are getting harangued a bit too much, concentrate on a different flag. It does look like the Echo flag is very, as I say, it's very easy defendable. Uh, it does look like it is absorbing players. Uh, yep. 21CW are able to easily re, re get that one, so uh, get on them, guys. Um, 21CW doing a great job, actually, of just avoiding getting shot at sea. And also they're going to get uh, Bravo back as well. And a good push on, also onto Alpha. But a great response by GC at this point, sending over the transport heli. Absolutely, yeah. Um, still all to play for. There's still action going on at Bravo, that's for sure. It's good to see. Uh, Trinity obviously seems to be playing this one a lot quicker and a lot more aggressively, which is good to see. I mean, the key, like we were talking about earlier, is just to keep moving on this map. If you're getting harassed too much on one flag, move on to another one, because there's not going to be anybody on it. Unfortunately, I will say this is poor Alpha flag, and I've literally got no buildings left. <laughs> A couple of walls left, uh, I think that'll be going down shortly. Poor on CW taking Delta right now. It's a good move, it's a good move. With this, they could potentially head straight back into golf as well to aid people from, uh, well, to aid them actually get golf back. It's looking right now that, geez, 21 w do have the, the majority of the flag. Still got the control to bleed. Uh, you see, although they look like they're coming back, um... Nice flying here, but still uh, Vipers in the charge of Interesting. Yep, I've been with Viper many times in that transport chopper. He's very, very good at actually getting you on point. Good move by the 21CW transport chopper. Great move, straight over to Echo. That's a very, very good move. 
he's by himself though, so that's why he's, losing, he's going to lose someone he's put a couple of his bows. It just looks like they're putting more, more bodies on the flags than they are. For uh, people that are gunning, that kind of stuff. I think he's dangerously low. Uh, this is very true, but um, we'll see how it goes. I mean, the, the gap is slowing down. GC need to cap this flag. We need to get this bleed going. Maybe I spoke too soon. There goes Chancel Chopper. So far, I'm even very much enjoying this. I just think if 21 CW reacted a little bit quicker, you know, take a flag and move on. Um, that's an extremely efficient tactic to use on this map. At the same time, they're doing a pretty good job around the Zeka flag. They constantly, constantly had it. Yes. Uh, so they're going to get Foxtrot as well. And you know, they've also got Echo. Charlie being undefended. But they've got a couple of guys. So I'm going to follow Insanity to see how long he lasts. 10 seconds normally if you look following him. Oh dear, it did not go well. It did say 10 seconds, didn't it? That's pretty much accurate. Uh, Rezzy's coming in with, this, with the bike. He's got on another bike. This is good to see, there's a lot of movement actually by both teams. This is excellent to see. Absolutely. I think I'm going to probably call it now and say GC's going to win this one, but it's not going to be by a huge amount, I don't think. I, I agree with you on this one. Um, maybe because it seems that 21 CW seem to have the majority of the flags all the time. It's definitely coming down to revives here and you know, kills. Yes. As long as, you know, they keep moving, it'll be interesting. With that, the GC have finally got four flags, so they have got the, the lead around it. Uh, so you need to do something. Got a feel for the transport pilot there, that didn't look pretty for him. Never does, never does. Uh oh. Wow, a huge push from the echo. You've seen this push from the echo. I did, um, but I also watched Viper crash the transport heli well. Is he alive? Is he dead? No, no, uh, it came into contact with his rock and it didn't go well. Is the rock okay? I think it will just buff out. Oh, that's good. good. Good to hear. Uh, 20 CW doing a push on to G at the moment, so they'll definitely take G. They're going to also take Charlie as well. Um, well, no, okay, GC have just and... responded. Good use of the L85A2 there, or the SA80. A2. My favorite rifle. Um, yeah, it's, uh, so there's a lot of movement around going here, uh, GC finally getting the fourth flag advantage and you can see there it says how effective it is, the tickets now are like 200 ticket plus difference. It's interesting also that uh, GC have still managed to hold on to Delta, oh there is a nice big push going into Delta at the moment. You know what? I'm gonna stop casting people, uh, following people for the first. I just kind of followed uh, TA Fields. He just got wiped out instantly from behind. <laughs> <laughs> Cast this curse. Kudo is in danger of. No, he was about to get knifed. Not anymore. And GC comfortably taking Delta back. Nice to see from um, Chin and Baba Loon. Um, I think I've fucked up that name beautifully. Um, good to see them actually taking the initiative and going straight for Charlie. That's a good move. And good also to see uh, Twin OCW now defending Golf a bit more. If they keep on with that, that could be good. If they can lock those four flags down, that would work well for them. 
There seems to be a large amount of training of VW reinforced and go. I'm not sure what GC are doing there, they're dropping more pairs into the grinder there. It looks like they're actually ignoring it and just going uh, to concentrate onto Charlie and just leaving the transport heli just to mop up whatever's left. Because well, there's no cover now left with Yeah, absolutely, that's some good, good, good rear uh, flanking action. That's not so rear action, flanking action from GC there. I think Twin Horror CW need to definitely concentrate the next round if there is actually going to be one. Um, they really need to concentrate on the transport heli and try and take that thing out. One way or another. Yeah, absolutely. Um, well, it's definitely going to go GC's way. It's interesting from watching it from this angle. I did think the score was going to be a bit closer, actually. But I think, like you were saying, um, I think Twin Rose CW was just out of the infantry combat. Battle today. And this round will remain live. So one more round here, boys. We get to do that all over again, and oh, I have never actually... Mind. that was the last round. No, that was the last round. Good uh, battle. I've been GC Robo Wiz. Um, with me today has been a variety of characters. Um... Yeah, I've been the one. Uh, it's been fun casting for you, and uh, I hope you enjoy watching it if you haven't had a chance to view it live. Um, stay tuned, uh, hopefully there will be a podcast, uh, I'm not sure he's going to do that one, but uh, that will also be on YouTube, uh, GC, uh, YouTube as well.